Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Tuesday, May 14, 2019. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, today we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures trading higher by 18 points to 28 and a quarter per contract. So 28.25 per contract. And it's a pretty nice little move for the markets overall. If I just move this away, you're going to see really right around 6 o'clock last night, markets started to move higher and really they're not far off the highs of the day at the moment so again we'll see how today plays out we have a very oversold condition on the daily chart markets have come under some pretty good pressure in the past week now they are rebounding we'll see if they can hold their gains today just a quick note this coming friday is options expiration for the month of may so expect a lot of game playing by the institutional money now let's get to stocks in the news. First stock we're going to take a look at today is going to be Ralph Lauren. Looks like they just reported earnings. Stock closed at 118.28. Nice little pop initially, but that has faded. Right now it's sitting at 118.50. So this is basically flat, just up 25 cents from where it closed. All in all, when I look at Ralph Lauren right now, um, I think traders want to be a little bit on the guarded side. Um, it's been a little oversold on the daily chart, no question about that. But retail has come under pressure with the possible trade war. So again, you want to be a little bit on the guarded side. We'll look at levels once the opening bell rings. There's really nothing we would do with it here at this level at the moment. But again, Ralph Lauren could be in play today. And uh, retailers were really hit hard yesterday. One level I see for Ralph Lauren today that you may want to take a look at be around 114.60. Somewhere down there, if it does get there, that might be a little bit of a short-term level. Nothing more than that. All right, let's get over now to the next one here, which is CyberAuk, C-Y-B-R. This is cybersecurity firm. Stock right now is trading at 128.16, closed at 121.24. This is an excellent pop-up here this morning. Can this go higher? The answer is yes. Will it go higher? I'm not so sure. So if you own this name, you want to trail the stop loss. If you don't own it, leave it alone right now. We'll look at pattern once the opening bell rings. But a very, very nice move here for CyberArk ahead of the opening bell. And um, this is on the back of earnings. You may want to look at some other cybersecurity firms. Uh, Palo Alto could be one, Checkpoint could be another one. So a bunch of others could be moving in sympathy. But right now, CyberArk having earnings today and a pretty good move. Let's take a look at Take Two. TTWO is the ticker symbol here. Take Two Interactive reporting earnings. Looks like uh, the stock is trading just a little bit lower than where it closed, closed at $100 and a penny. Now trading at $99.25, so a little bit underwater here. I'm not going to make too much out of this one. Uh, we'll see what it does once the opening bell rings. Still a lot of support just below the 92 level. If it got down that low, I'm not so sure we're going to see that. In sympathy, you want to take a look at Electronic Arts. Um, that's not doing a whole lot here this morning. And Activision, that is trading at 43.86 up a little bit from 43.41, but take two interactive, uh, basically just a little bit below where it closed at $100 and a penny, right now trading at 99.25. Nothing I would do with it yet, but we will look at this one once the opening bell rings. Let's take a look at Coca-Cola. It looks like that was upgraded today. Stock is trading at $48.47, so nice little pop there. No problems for Coca-Cola right now if you own it. Trail the stop loss, this chart is still okay. Uh, this can actually still move higher, so nothing that I'm seeing uh, here wrong with the name. Let's take a look at STNE. This is, I believe, kind of a new issue. Well, not that new. It's been around since October of last year. Uh, they reported earnings. Stock closed at 26.54. Now it's trading at 28.51. So a little uptick there. I still don't love the name here, so be very, very careful with this one. Um, <clears throat> not enough data for me to really get involved in it yet, but I don't love what I'm seeing on the chart prior. Next up, I want to take a look at Billy Billy. This is a Chinese ADR, B-I-L-I. -I. Stock is trading at 1660, closed at 1621. The only level that really interests me for this name probably be around 1380, 1375, somewhere in that 13 handle. Right now, I don't see much to do here with this stock at the moment. So we'll see how it plays out once the opening bell rings. Um, but again, Billy Billy under a little bit of pressure, and this is a leading Chinese ADR. Let's take a look at another one here, Tencent Music, TME is a ticker symbol here. Stock is trading at $14.85, closed at $16. Good little haircut for this one as well. So watch the $15 level. I'm gonna say probably $14.90. 
Um, there seems to be a pretty good amount of support at that area for TME. Let's take a look here at one more here. Tyson Foods, TSN. It looks like that was upgraded this morning. Stock closed at 79.57. This has been in a really, really strong uptrend on the daily chart. When you look at that daily chart, picture perfect. So nothing really wrong there. Nice little upgrade today. Stock is trading at $80.25. Remember, this is options expiration. You're going to get a lot of upgrades and downgrades this week. So be a little bit careful here. The only negative I see for Tyson at the moment is that it's into a lot of resistance uh, going back to early 2018. So just take note of that. Stock is a little bit long in the tooth, but no problems here yet on the charts. Chart is in a nice uptrend. You want to respect that. So Tyson Foods with an upgrade here. Coca-Cola with an upgrade. And that's it. That's all we have for the earnings front. Let's go over to the gold market. I'm going to use the GLD this morning. Uh, what you're going to see here uh, this morning is that we have uh, the GLD trading at around 122.60. It looks like uh, spot gold is trading just above the 1300 level. So again, uh, we won't make too much out of it. We're going to look at the GLD once the opening bell rings. I do think this can still trade up to around 123.20. Let's take a look at the USO this morning, which represents crude oil. You're going to see that's trading at around 12.86. Um, <clears throat> we'll see what it does here uh, once the opening bell rings. Oil, again, getting a little bit of a pop today, up about 60 cents to $61.00 and 63 cents a barrel. So crude oil getting a little bit of a lift, uh, gold basically uh, on the flat side, and we'll see what we get once the opening bell rings. Once again, if you haven't done so, come on over. Take that seven day free trial to the intraday stock chat room, just a blockbuster 2019 so far. And again, we're gonna look to keep that going each and every day, more and more activity, more and more movement here. We got tons of volatility out here, giving us lots and lots of action. So. Again, if you haven't done so, take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. You can trade right alongside of us. With that being said, everybody, I want to wish you all a great trading day. We'll see you a little bit later on the charts.